Hello guys, welcome back. My name's Asmaran, and yes, as you can see, we're on another Gin Advent calendar. So, my apologies for the lateness. I just finished work about 30 minutes ago, and it's 1 o'clock in the morning. So I've got two to open. So I'll open this one now, and then on uh, on the night at 6pm, I'll give you that door and see what I get then. But, let's go. So, as you can see, I bought this Gin, a very merry Gin Advent calendar uh, from Amazon. You can still get it now. I'll leave the link in the description for the full review. But other than that, let's shut up and get on with it. Now, what am I on? My eighth one. Where's number eight? Uh, boom. So here we go. Open up and up. Do, 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 do. I'm doing this with one hand. Boom. And we have got. Oh, nice. Beefy of London. Peach and raspberry gin. 37.5 alcohol volume. Okay. Uh does of all great alcohol blah blah do not Okay, uh, no worries. So a peach and raspberry. So let's give this a go. Okay. There's the bad boy. Beef eater. Peach and raspberry. So let's give this a go. Oh you can smell I smell the peach already. Uh there's the glass. Straight in there, here we go. I'll get all of it in as much as I can. Mm. Ooh, definitely smell. It's definitely got the peach out of that. That's a nice, that's a nice flavour one, that. And of course, I'll be using the Fever Tree Tonic of Water. I don't have any gar garnishes, sadly. Do, 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 do. But garnishes, I will put raspberries in it, that's for sure. Stir at the bottom. Mm. Okay, so give it a twirl. Let's move that up a little bit. Okay, it's peachy. That's nice. That's very nice. Smell the peach and hints of raspberry. Hints of raspberries you can smell, but the peach, yeah, you can definitely, definitely taste that. That's a very nice gin. Not too bad actually. Mm. Well, put it this way, it's doesn't it? It's with a hint of peach and raspberry. Peach I can taste. If I had a raspberry garnish, yeah. You probably get the flavours out of that. That's not a bad gin. I'll give it a uh, 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 four out of five. It's uh, still got an aftertaste as well, which is a little bit uh, not spicy, but got a tang, a little tang to it. Mhm. Mm but that ain't half bad at all. That's really really nice. Mm. Mm. So, peach and raspberry, definitely smell the peaches, definitely taste it, and it's pretty potent, you can smell the hint of raspberry in there, it goes well with a raspberry garnish, just to get that extra bit of flavour out, and yeah, that ain't half bad, when you drink it, it goes down the back of the throat, you get a, a minor kick, like a little hint of spice, but that... Not spice, but a little kick, like a uh, little tang of spice, nothing major. But that's a really nice gin. So that is that one. The beefy uh, peach and raspberry. Um, so yeah, I'll leave the link in the full review of it on the Advent calendar. It's still on Amazon now if you still want to buy it. Thank you very much as well for the 54 subscribers. Really fucking hope I appreciate you guys subscribe. If you get this, buy it. Let me know, tell me what you think, guys, leave a comment. And um, yeah, I will see you on the next day of a very merry Gin Advent Canada. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you guys on my new video.